I'm sorry to hear about your pussy. That's the, it was always a disaster anyway from the offset. I, he I heard it had to be destroyed. Was that like a, a sa safety <laughs> issue? <laughs> like those bags you see in airports, unattended? Is that why it had to be destroyed? Too stinky? <laughs> Rebecca Goodwin, thank you for coming on. You're you're quite big online. What, what is it that you do? Porn. Fuck. <laughs> you're you're one of these local girls. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you could say mm. that. What sort of websites are we talking? Uh, OnlyFans mainly, but I put like previews on porno, but I don't give it away for free. So on one of the pages, I hit two million not long ago, two million dollars. Uh, That's right. after OnlyFans have took taken their cut. I'm aware of this sort of huge sums of money that you can make. I tried to sign my wife up for something similar, but I didn't know about this OnlyFans site, so I, I put her um, put her up on Facebook Marketplace. Okay. <laughs> quite a lot of requests. Is this still available? <laughs> a lot of people think it's sort of a used trampoline. But, um, <laughs> have you always worked in the industry? No, uh, not ever since I was a kid, no, surprisingly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're, it's a sort of generational thing, isn't it? I think I guess you're quite lucky to live in the age of OnlyFans, whereas like women like my aunt, who's um, she's still gaffer taping pictures of her snatched to phone boxes. <laughs> do you have a favourite sexual position? The one where I don't really have to do much. Sort of line, yeah. yeah. Well, this is my this is my karma sutra for dads. Sometimes we do it on the sofa. Um, mm. And uh, sometimes we um, sometimes we do it from behind. Yeah. Um, sometimes she's on top. Mm. Yeah, sort of on top of the wardrobe, crying while I'm having a great time. Am I right? Am I right in thinking you were living off food stamps? Food, food banks. You're living off food banks, and now you now you own house outright, a yeah. Porsche. Sort of a come rags to riches <laughs> story. You brought a two up, two down, one of the mouth, one up the. <laughs> when you do as much research as I have into the uh, female orgasm, it's very much a case of like sort of the, the more you read, the less you know. Right. There's no evidence, of course, that it exists, but I guess what there is evidence of that, you know, we, we need to think it exists, you know, yeah. much like God or, or the Prophet Muhammad. Have you ever sort of encountered this mythical beast, the Bigfoot of the adult world, the, uh, the female orgasm? A fair few times, yeah. Right. Yeah. What did it look like? <laughs> <laughs> I imagine you've got a mayo bottle and you hit it three times on the back. That's what it looked Mayonnaise. like. Mayonnaise? Yeah. No, the female <laughs> orgasm. <laughs> uh, I'm either a creamer or I've got a yeast infection. I'm not sure which one it is yet. Mm. Bit of a bready girl, are we? Mm. <laughs> I've been experimenting with love eggs. You have? Yeah, I found scrambled was the hardest. It's like pouring hummus down a plug hole. Throwing chum at a basking shark. It's ironic, isn't it? Because um, you shove eggs up yourself, whereas my wife shits them out. I've brought something to show you. Mm -hmm. That fires quite fast. Yeah. I need to wipe all the hair off it first, though. It's not looking good. <laughs> you have to fill it up with lube. Oh. Oh. I've never seen that. No, that's, that's new to me. <laughs> oh. 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 Really? Okay. Heroes and Heretics are proud sponsors of today's episode of Finn vs. the Internet. These are the guys, you know I love them, they're small casks, uh, it's all unique stuff. If you don't know where to start with whiskey, you should go to Heroes and Heretics, and if you use the discount code FINTAILOR15, you will get 15% off. Uh, but please remember to drink responsibly, and by that I mean when you're having a few glasses of this, fucking lock the doors so your fucking wife can't get in, so that when you want to get the hoover out and you want to fucking go to town yourself, you know, she, she's, you're not giving her that mental image. Heroes and Heretics, proud sponsors of Finn vs. <laughs> you're, you're a key worker, right? I guess I was, cl I was clapping for you during the pandemic. On, on the balcony, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Because you were out there, you were still, you know, I was just at home, <laughs> wanking over 24 hours of A&E. Have you had any problems with sort of, um, like, harassment? Do you know what I mean? The little, like, faceless, anonymous, oh, the bots? I wouldn't say harassment. I've got this fucking, what, this, uh, it's called at HMRC. He keeps fucking, <laughs> fucking having a go. He says, you know where I live? You know he's going to come around my house? Telling me to, like, assess myself in the mirror? Fucking assess, <laughs> assess, assess yourself. I've never heard of HMRC. Audited. I've been tested for autism several times. 
They haven't got anything on me. <laughs> do, do you get this comment about, oh, what, what, what do your kids think? Do you yeah. get that? Yeah, yeah. How do you respond to that one? Basically, I'm bringing them up in a sex-positive household. I think that's great. I'm trying to bring my kids up in a sex-positive environment. Um, that's why I, I went through the sex offenders register and just moved next door to one. <laughs> it's like drugs, isn't it? It's just safer if they get molested in the house. Uh, we get kids to write in with jokes on this show. Um, do you want to read, read that one out? From Harrison, age seven, what do you call an alcoholic who also has Down syndrome? The TV presenter, Ant McPartlin. Well, either way, you shouldn't be driving. <laughs> Deck's an absolute saint, isn't he? I'm not going to lie to my kids and say, oh, I work at Morrison's and actually be finger blasting myself on yeah. OnlyFans. You get so. out of Morrison's. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind? This is the hot deli counter. <laughs> Do you mind? This is the hot deli counter. <laughs> so what are, the, what are the films have you got in the pipeline? I want to do Schindler's Fist, but they said I'm not allowed to. R who said that? My manager. The people and that it, run the media? And yeah, and mm. only fans. <laughs> that lot run the wank banks as well, do they? Who's, uh, who's pulling the strings? It's uh, my manager. His name's Dick Bush. Dick Bush is yeah, your manager? Is, yeah. I guess with a name like that, you'd have to go into porn. We've got some letters in from some of your fans. Big fans of your work. Um, Christ, what's, I think there's two. What's going on? You, you do, am I being stupid? Okay, you, you, you take, you take, you take one. Yeah. Yeah. We got some fan mail. Oh, it's just pictures of tits. <laughs> oh, lovely. Anything you'd like to plug? Stupid question. <laughs> <laughs> you know he left the drill. No, I, I've not. I've not seen it. No, I don't know. I don't know where it is. You must. I think you took it. <laughs> it's funny it's called only fans because some of the women on there are not fans of it. They're dirty. No, oh, that's better. Oh, for fuck's sake.